YouTube, welcome back to the channel. A lot of stuff happened today on FIFA 23. We had another pack issue from EA where we might be getting compensation with free team of the season player picks again. We're also going to be looking in this video into investments that we can be making for this whole week. We're going to be looking at expected content this week as well by looking back at FIFA 22 with what we got for Ultimate Team Season Promo in FIFA 22. But before we do all that, we got to talk about content today on Sunday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Sunday was wild. It started off with us getting a player SBC fairly early before content. We got Rodri and he is a really solid card. You might look at it and be like 91 overall. That's kind of disappointing, but like stat wise, it's really solid. Four star skills, five star weak foot, and he really, he doesn't cost that much as well. I think he's just an 87 overall squad, if I'm correct. Yeah, 87 overall squad and that's it. He's fairly cheap, so... I'd say a dub SBC right there from EA. If you want a central defensive midfielder in your squad, he is definitely a usable player. Even as a box to box, his stats aren't that terrible. He's got the five star weak foot. We got an Eric SBC. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone really cares about that. And we also had the icon SBC refresh. One thing that we did not get was an end of era SBC. We thought it was supposed to be daily end of era player SBCs every single day, but no end of era SBC today. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, this was cheaper than the last time it came out as well. And we immediately at content drop mentioned 87s. 87s went up a good chunk at content. I mean, I think they were, I think we mentioned them for in last night's video at like 12,000 coins. I think some of them were almost at 18,000 coins today after content drop. And yeah, fodder rose a good amount because of this icon SBC refreshing. We opened a ton of these on stream today as well. Holy crap, they were garbage. They were, we ended up getting two dubs eventually, a prime Cruyff and a team of the year David Beckham. But overall, it was just garbage after garbage after garbage. It was painful opening these. But yes, this made fodder rise and it's gonna be the same play as last week. If you guys remember, the SBC refreshes. I think this one refreshes on Thursday again. In four days, I believe that is Thursday. So you know what that means. Wednesday night, you buy fodder and it rises when the SBC refreshes again. So same thing should be really easy to make coins there. And uh, I think that was that for content. The no end of era was weird. Those two player SBCs. And yeah, let's just jump straight into expected SBCs. Your boy has to... I had to sneeze and I don't have to sneeze anymore. All right, so I have a website that has the promo last year for team of the season. And we're going to look at what we got for FIFA 22 with ultimate team of the season. It's probably what we're going to get this year. Some similar. So also uh, ignore all the marks on their shirt. I was at a birthday party and I got cake all over me. Um, it's a tradition Brooks family does. I'm not going to go into it, but here we go. This is ultimate team of the season right here. This is FIFA 22 Ultimate Team of the Season. We're going to start from Friday when it originally started. You know, we get all Ultimate Team of the Season starts, all that. We are here around Sunday with, you know, you get the Icon SBC. And then Monday is where we can see a lot of the stuff that it looks like we might be getting. So Monday, another end of era SBC. And we get a Team of the Season upgrade on Monday. We also get an 80-plus player pick, but it's E-Figs. For those of you guys that don't know what E-Figs mean, it means, it means England, France, Italy, Germany, Spain. The top five leagues. So it's player picks from the top five leagues. And then, this is what's interesting. We got all the league upgrades back. So, you know how every league we've gotten premium upgrades. So, Ligoon, you get a Ligoon premium upgrade. You get a Bundesliga premium upgrade. We're getting all of those at the same time. That's what we got in FIFA 22. I'm not saying it's guaranteed for FIFA 23, but I'd say, you know, they'll probably go along this route again. It makes sense. So keep an eye out. We might be getting those premium upgrades again. And then Conma Ball Team of the Group Stage Upgrade. I don't remember what that was. I think they may have randomly released like a Conma Ball promo type thing. I'd probably just ignore that. We got a Team of the Season E-Figs upgrade on Tuesday. We got a Moments Kaka, that's just a player SBC. And then on Wednesday, this is where it's interesting. We Last year on FIFA 22, we did not get an ultimate team of the season upgrade. Instead, we got a 94 plus team of the season player pick and a 93 plus E-Figs team of the season upgrade. 
And you might be like, okay, well, maybe that's not what we're going to be getting exactly. Maybe they change it up a little bit this year. But when you look at some of the pack code that has been leaked, it looks like, you know, that kind of could be the case. We have right here, new packs modified, team of the season, player pack. So that's kind of following along the lines of the team of the season player upgrade down here. And then we look at the 93 plus community team of the season slash efigs team of the season player pack that's following along with last year's where's it at 93 plus efigs team of the season upgrade so it does seem like just looking at the code it is kind of following what we had last year so that's kind of what i guess you could say to be expecting a lot of sbcs coming the team of the season upgrades the 93 plus team of the season 90 whatever it is player pick player picks don't have to be added to the code remember that so like if there is no leak for a player pick, they don't need to be added to the code. So it doesn't need to be like leaked basically, but stuff that could be rising, you know, like gold rares. If you want to pick up gold rares, I don't know how much they would rise necessarily. I looked at last year, they rose to like 950, close to a thousand coins, just like just below a thousand coins is what the gold rares went to with all the upgrade SBCs for every single league being out. So if you want to pick up gold rares, it's not a terrible move. They're literally, I mean, you can see they're, they're discard. No one's bidding on them. So if you want to do it so you can do upgrades for on your own, by all means, go for it. Also, if you want to pick up gold commons, I don't think that's going to be a terrible move. They are three, they're literally, they're 300 coins, it looks like. So if you want to pick these up, it's pretty low risk. You can do it to make coins, but you can also just do it to be like, hey, I want to craft these player picks. They're probably going to be really solid. So I'd say 300 coins on gold commons, 650 coins on gold rares. Definitely go out and do it. Stock them up for your club so you can craft the player picks on your own. You can craft the upgrades on your own. And um, yeah, you could also, you know, make some coins if you wanted to wait and then sell them on like Wednesday or something like that, Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's that with some expected SBCs. And you know, fodder as well can be rising. Now, I don't know. I've been talking about buying 83s. I do think they can rise. They definitely can. I just don't know if the 83s will rise as much as they have been rising. We need some other sort of SBC that's refreshing every day. Like, one of the big reasons why our 83s have been rising so much is because, hey, you know, on Monday we get an SBC like an 81 plus times 11 upgrade and it refreshes every single day. So Monday and it's usually like two squads. So it's like an 83 squad and then like an 84 or an 85. So it's just people keep doing it over and over again every day. And a lot of 83s are used. So Monday they get used. Tuesday they get used. Wednesday they get used. If we don't have anything that's really like repeatable tomorrow on monday that's refreshing every day i'd be a little skeptical on how good these 83s are going to do but you know i still think it's a decent move for the past uh, over for over a month now every single week these 83s have risen a lot they just keep rising you buy them on the weekend saturday or sunday even sometimes on monday at night and then they rise tuesday a little bit more up wednesday a little bit more up and then Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday night slash like Thursday is usually the peak on these 83s. So you could do 83s again. I mean, they're pretty cheap. At, at, you can get them on bid for 1,500 coins. It's not too hard. I mean, you can just hop on filters like this. I'd go maybe something like that. I'll go min buy now 17, max buy now 10K. And we'll see how many 83s pop up. And you can see here, there are quite a few 83 overall bids that you can just fly through in a filter like this and pick up a ton of them. I think it's fairly low risk. Am I as sure that they're going to rise as I have been in the previous weeks? No, because in the previous weeks, we know every single Monday, 81 plus times 11, 75 plus times 10 or 75 times 11 with Ligoon. We knew that those were coming. We don't really know this time around, but I still think it's a decent move if you want to pick up the 83s. <clears throat> Another rating you could look for is 84s, 84s. I mean, it's the same prices that I gave previously. 83s, 1,500 coins, 84s, we're looking for 3,500 coins. It should be fairly easy to do that. And the filter is the same exact idea with the 83 one. Just put the bid around the price that they're at. So they're at 3,500 coins. You're gonna go min price 3K, max price 3, 4, and just do something like that basically yeah and then you search oh i'm on thomas party though so let me get rid of thomas party and this should give you a bunch of 84s yeah as you can see a lot of 84s and you just fly through on filters like that and get a bunch of bids and then pick up the fodder rating that you're choosing so there's 84s 
and uh honestly 85s went up in price they were below 8,000 coins and they went up in price with that icon SBC coming out today and they're kind of back down in price a little bit if we check them out they're you know coming back down to 8,000 coins and if these are below 8,000 coins again I mean they're 8 8,200 with basically a page you should be able to get them for below 8k on bid I would I would assume you'd be able to get them for below 8k on bid so if you want to pick these up, you know, it's a decent rating going into all these SBCs that might come out. A team of season upgrade, a team of season player pick, a 93 plus e-figs team of season, stuff like that. So there's a lot of potential for 85s to be rising as well if you want to pick some of these up. And that's kind of that with fodder because once, once we go into higher ratings with fodder, it's a bit tough to be like, hey, we should buy these ratings because they're a good price because like none of them are re necessarily a good price at the moment because they're up from that icon player pick so it's kind of tough so i'd be looking more so in the 83 to 85 overall range and hopefully sell them wednesday or thursday that's it unless like you know on monday we get a team of season upgrade sbc that tomorrow on monday we get a team of season upgrade sbc that doesn't refresh every day it's just out on monday alone and it has like some crazy 85 overall requirement and 85s fly, then you could sell your 85. So that's my take on fodder. We talked about buying rares. We talked about buying commons. I also want to mention team of the weeks, guys. If you have team of the weeks, you actually might want to take your profit on them. They are still, you know, they're up a good amount. I've been selling mine, lazy listing mine for like 13,500 coins, but they're selling instantly at 12,500 coins. I want to mention with team of the weeks, guys, one of my viewers mentioned this, PH mention this uh, i i'm sorry ph i don't know how the heck the rest of your name goes it's like a number and then another it's it's a lot um he mentioned yo teddy the team of the week sbc actually refreshes again before it expires so the this is the tradable team of the week sbc the tradable team of the week sbc that brings supply it actually refreshes on wednesday and i think it expires on friday if I'm correct, or it expires on Thursday, but it does refresh again. So that's more team of the week supply that will come to the market. So if you want to take your profit right now on team of the weeks, I know I told you guys to buy them for 10 K and then I told you guys to buy them for like 11 K you can take your profit right now and sell them for about 13,000 coins and then probably rebuy them again on Wednesday. So if you want to, you know, take your profit and then maybe buy some of this fodder, and then hopefully sell this fodder around like Wednesday and then rebuy into the team of the weeks. That could be the perfect investment plan for this week. You just, you know, get out and then on Wednesday, just full send team of the weeks. It could be a decent way of potentially making some coins. Now you don't have to do that. You could literally just hold your team of the weeks all the way through until, you know, they fly a lot. But if you do want to take some profit, wait till Wednesday, see what happens. Could be a decent way to, I guess, maximize the amount of coins you're going to make. I mean, who knows though, maybe tomorrow on Monday, if we get that team of the season upgrade SBC, it's like, oh, 84 overall squad, team of the week requirement. That'd be crazy. But yeah, that's my take on team of the weeks. This SBC, tradable team of the week SBC is refreshing. And let's talk about pack compensation now, guys. This is probably what a lot of you may have clicked on this video for. And I'm assuming some of you didn't even make it this far in the video. You, you were just waiting for the pack compensation. So EA messed up again the pack compensation i'll pull it up right here they actually fixed it and because they fixed it i'm assuming we are 100 getting compensated i told you guys in my discord i tweeted about it if you come right here this was the issue i mean by the way banging tweet that's probably one of the best tweets i've ever had likewise i think but yeah, if you watched the previous video, I know a lot of you did because it got a ton of views. They messed up again and there was a 100k pack that gave four team of the season player picks and it did not say loan in it. I believe this is the tweet right here is this one, the 100k pack. So another pack came out today and it was a 200k pack. And once again, it did not specify the pack being a loan. And I think it's 100% an issue and we're probably 100% getting compensated because if you go and look at the pack now, this is my second account. If we look at the pack, where's it at? 200K pack. I'm in, it's Brazilian Portuguese, by the way. It's not Portuguese. It's Brazilian Portuguese. It's similar, but it's not the same. If you do it in Portuguese, it's actually correct. If you look at Brazilian Portuguese, it's not correct. But this is Brazilian Portuguese, and you can tell there was definitely an issue because look, it's in English now. They fixed it. It's supposed to say 
two ultimate team of the season player pick loans between two players. But in Brazilian Portuguese, it did not mention the team of the season player pick loan. It just said, oh, it's for a 20 game loan. But that's in a separate sentence. It's not specifying that it's the team of the season player pick. So they messed up again. We're probably getting compensated. There are some screenshots going around saying, hey, yo, like, I talked to live chat and it's a screenshot of live chat and they're saying, yeah, we're looking into it. We're investing in We're investigating it and it looks like you should be getting compensated. So I think we will be getting compensated. And guys, I think the 100K pack is still wrong. I don't think they've, they fixed the 200K pack for sure, but I don't think they fixed the 100K pack. If you know, you didn't watch yesterday's video, you haven't seen my streams, you're not in the discord because I told the discord as well about the issue. This one still, I, I don't think it says loan. Because it's the EMP is short for loan, MP Zababada, something like that. It's short for loan, and it's not saying for team of the season loan player picks. Check yourself before you buy it. But you know, you might be able to still buy this 100k pack and get four team of the season player picks. What happens is you open it and you're getting loans. You get four loans, but the pack doesn't specify loans. So EA is going to give you, whenever they do compensation, four team of the season player picks, and they're not going to be loans. And the team of the season player picks are usually really solid. So hopefully we can get that and we'll get compensation. Just remember guys, the last time we got compensation with the Polish pack, when I told you guys about that, it took them about a week to do it. So don't expect this. Don't be coming in the stream. Teddy wins compensation. Teddy wins compensation. Wins compensation. I don't know. It took them about a week last time and it's probably because you know it takes a little bit of time to figure out what the issue is to figure out who's affected by the issue and then they'll they'll send it out but yeah i mean if you guys want to do it all i did was i did it on my web app or my companion app and i just left it in brazilian portuguese maybe you can change it but i i opened the pack i did the player picks and everything and then I just sent it to the club and I, I left my web app and I left my companion app in the language. But when I go on my console, it's still in English. So I'm fine. And that's how I got the Polish compensation last time. But that's that. And for leaks, I wanted to mention maybe some leaks, but I think we kind of did it looking at the pack code because we looked at scoreboard and that's EA. They haven't tweeted anything yet. Has Sheriff tweeted anything about leaks at the moment? I don't think so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So we should be getting a lot of stuff tomorrow on Monday. Monday's going to be a really big day. Probably a lot of SBCs, probably a lot of upgrade SBCs, a lot of content, and hopefully, you know, a lot of stuff for us to potentially be packing some ultimate team of the season cards. But uh, that's it for this video, guys. I did biscuits, by the way. If you guys have any questions, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. My free trading Discord, my Twitch live stream description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.